What's up, Market Snipers? This is Jesse. It's about uh, 3 30 p.m. Thursday afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well. And uh, just before we jump into this video, then I'm going to try to keep it to about seven to 10 minutes covering the NASDAQ and a few other charts. So I'll probably talk a little, a little fast, but I just want to say thanks for everyone's support. You know, 12,400 views on the free newsletter in the last 30 days. So I guess we pumped up and uh, makes me want to you know keep sending out more charts, sending out more videos and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, if you guys are interested, then I'm interested in, uh, you know, sending out more stuff for you. So anyways, uh, so thanks for that. And of course, you know, thanks for the market snipers, you know, uh, all their support in the community and, uh, you know, helping out. You know, we have a lot of people helping out. And, um, and of course, uh, a lot of the money I'm, I'm reinvesting back into Sniper Tools, not only to help everyone, you know, get better, make it easier, save time. And in the end, of course, you know, everyone be more profitable, right? So that's the purpose of why I, I keep reinvesting in, back into more tools. And I got a couple, a couple of new ones rolling out. I haven't really been announcing it. Uh, it's going to go through some... Uh, you know, of course, uh, sharpshooter indicator is getting worked on, you know, so I'll just call it 3.1 version coming out now, maybe by tomorrow. But, you know, you know how the uh, coders are. They're always uh, a little bit behind schedule. And then, um, of course, uh, I've, I've got uh, a dashboard rolling out uh, version one beta test. So that that's not going to go on the website or anything like that at first. It's only going to be available for market snipers. I'm not going to increase the price. Maybe maybe one day, but uh, I'm not going to increase the price. So, you know, still at the $29 per month there. Still the $79 for the sharpshooter package. There's probably more stuff on here that I just haven't listed. So, you know, I don't have any paid sponsors or anything. So, you know, got to talk about the market snipers. You know, it's the only services that I have. And, uh, and of course, you know, Thanks for everyone on, uh, you know, tipping me on the tip jar for, for Twitter subscribers too. So without any more rambling or rants, you know, let, let's jump right into it. I uh, probably got about five or six charts to go through. Bitcoin, we're just going to take quick glances and spend a little bit more time on the NASDAQ. Not much has changed on Bitcoin. Had that sell signal. Remember from the last video, all the list of items that was happening, you know, bearish divergence, blah, blah, blah. Uh, DXY. You know, not much has changed. You know, had the breakout, had the buy signal on the weekly chart. We do have a green trending dot. You know, everything's trending upwards, right? Um, RSI is trending up. The RSI EMAs are, are trending up. You know, target one was hit. Uh, target two seems to be in the be in the sniper sites. So that that's the DXY. Nvidia, you know, pumped up in in after hours all the way up to like. 505, I believe, or 50 says says 503, but I think if you drop down like the one hour chart, you know, in the video pumped all the way up uh based off our of earnings. Everyone was talking about six billion. But you know, we're we're talking about the correction back here. We're talking about the breakout back here in January 2023, had a massive rally up, right? And then there's, you know, there's bearish divergence, right? So there's bearish divergence on the daily chart. So eventually there's going to be a longer correction. Um, there was a RSI sell signal on uh, the first week of August. And it just takes time to play out. As we saw with Bitcoin, it took, you know, a couple months for it to kind of go through that topping pattern and then start to break back down, right? So it's not confirmed yet. But there is this massive 20% gap here. And, you know, that's a significant gap, right? It's not like a 2% gap or less than 2%. You know, it's a 20% plus gap. And we saw that. We'll, what we'll see on the next chart, the meta, that, there, you know, that 21% gap got filled, right? And now there's another 20% gap down below. So just be aware of that. You know, if we, if we drop down to the daily chart, right? There's, there's bearish divergence, right? And then this was um, <clears throat> a close here. You can't really see it. Let's see. Let me turn that for a second. Close, close. 
these two daily closes and then this close here would put in still a lower high, right? So if you so if you look at it, it's very tricky because the candle looks higher, but it's not. It's where it closed. So it didn't close here. It wicked there. It didn't close here. It wicked there. It closed here, and it closed here. So it's very very tricky, and it's something to be aware of. It, uh, definitely not financial advice whatsoever. Always do your own research, but. Um, you know, I wouldn't be buying here, right? To say the least, right? So we'll, we'll just leave it at that. But you can see this massive 20% gap, right? Eventually it's gonna get filled. When, we don't know. Uh, but price broke down, hit two targets, bounced all the way up, back up, ran, pushed it, you know, right into uh, earnings. And, uh, you know, still had this bearish divergence. This could still, this could be a lower high. Okay, and then this could be a slightly lower high, and that would signal for me that you know lower downside that the next targets will be hit, and then we'll see what happens with twenty percent gap. It takes time to play out, so it doesn't it typically doesn't happen overnight. Let's let's keep moving on though, and uh, let's move on to um, the next one, Meta, because we're trying to get to the Nasdaq chart. So it's you know three, four, five, six, seven, seven total charts trying to do in seven to ten minutes. Probably not going to happen. <clears throat> so Meta, you know, we were talking about it way back here, you know, uh, watching bullish divergence play out, watching um, a reversal, calling it way back here. You know, there's a buy signal back here at 151 on the weekly chart. Obviously, the daily chart was sooner than that. Rallied, 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 you know, for from uh, January all the way till about July, right? Filled that massive 21% gap, hit all the targets along the way. <clears throat> and now it's started to break down. There's an RSI sell signal here. I'm sure there's like a MACD bearish crossover. I could put that on the indicator. And uh, let's see, style coming here, MACD bear cross. Yep, there's a MACD bear cross here. The only reason why I leave it off is because the, the chart gets, you know, there's, it becomes too much to look at, right? So it doesn't translate well when I post a chart or uh, when I record a video, it doesn't translate well. But as you can see, we'll just leave it on there. Um, there's a MACD bearish crossover. And before that, there would have been a MACD pending bearish crossover. So that's actually what I really like, not necessarily the, the MACD bear cross or the MACD bull cross. I do leave them on the chart a lot, but the pending, like it's telling me before there is one, that there's a pending cross, right? So I do really like that. And it lined up perfectly on this week when there's an RSI sell signal. So you start to see confluence and then the, there's a close below the trending dots, hit two targets. If you look at the daily chart, looks like, you know, continued downtrend, right? Bearish divergence uh, came down. This could be, you know, what looks like a bear flag, right? A reversal candle down. So this could be a lower high here. And uh, then we're looking at, you know, hit, possibly hitting these targets, retesting the two-hour week moving average. If it breaks down below the trend line, below the two-hour week moving average, then, you know, we're looking at this target. And then looking at a potential of the massive 20% gap. So that would basically be round trip all the way back down from, from here. So something to be aware of, uh, but just taking it level by level as you know a swing trader does. So let's put this back to the weekly. Apple, uh, the reason why I'm showing you these charts, because most, most of them are huge market caps. And so they're kind of like, they're, uh, you know, some would say that they're they're the ones keeping the Nasdaq pushing up higher and this whole time because there's there's several tech stocks and everything that you know that make up the Nasdaq that didn't run as as high as Apple. Apple made a new high, Nvidia made a new high, Meta made you know a lower high, um, and so on and so on. So that's the that's the list to run through. But you know, <clears throat> same thing. You got RSI sell signal. MACD bear cross, MACD bearish crossover on the same candle, uh, 
two closes below the trending dots. Now there's a red trending dot, right? So this is Apple daily, uh, weekly chart. And on the daily chart, we saw it, we saw it breaking down before then, right? So we had the bearish divergence, uh, a candle close below the, the price trend line, followed by a sell signal, followed by a gap down, and so on and so on, right? So kind of drew this out, you know, it was over here. I drew it out when it was towards the bottom and that, you know, just kind of signaling that, you know, it could put in a lower high. All the way back up here, it could have put in a lower high and still could, right? And then, you know, so that that's the only thing is like, I'm looking at it as, is it putting in a lower high? So, you know, it could come down like this and then kind of bounce back up, possibly even rally back all the way back up to the, to the new gap up here and, um, and then continue lower from there. But as of right now, that is a bearish reversal uh, price candle. You know, in the weekly chart, uh, is uh, right there on the edge with becoming bearish, right? So it was bearish. Now it's uh, right on the line of becoming bearish again. And, you know, everything's trending back down. So that's Apple. VIX had a breakout on the, you know, out of the trend line, had a buy signal, is, is the volatility. Uh, of the S&P 500 index. So it's very volatile, so it's difficult to trade. Um, kind of move all that stuff out of the way. But really, if you look at our side, you had, had a buy signal that kind of lines up with all the sell signals. So you had a buy signal there, and you know it's continue to move higher. So hit that first target. You know On the daily chart, you can kind of see it a little bit better where you know we we're talking about it back here bullish divergence and then it gapped up consolidated sideways and now it looks like uh the very similar reversal price candle but bullish instead of bearish right so that's the vix uh let's go back to the weekly look at the nasdaq oh so on the on the vix if i if i put in uh, a bullish macd crossover I'm sure it's probably uh, bullish, MACD bullish crossover. Yeah, so uh, happened on this candle here, MACD bullish crossover. So, like I said, I don't, I don't keep them all on the charts when I'm posting. I don't uh, just keep the chart cleaner for when I'm posting it on Twitter or uh, AKA X or doing these videos. So. All right, so we made it through. Uh, here's the NASDAQ, and um, we're, I know we're about 10 minutes. So, so very similar, you know, we had the RSI sell signal, right? MACD bearish crossover on the same candle, closed below the trending dots, you know, broke down from, from back up here, right? And hit two price targets so far. Still no sell signal yet on the sharpshooter candles, uh, but most likely it's just a matter of time, right? So if you look at the daily chart, we were watching it beforehand. And as you can see, we've got bearish divergence. So the, our uh, RSI indicator that's included in the sharpshooter package uh, for the $79 a month, you know, has this on there. So, you know, I always spotted divergences before, but it's great to have them on, you know, put on the chart. And then you got warnings on the daily chart, MACD bearish, bearish crossover. Again, lines up in this case uh, perfectly with the RSI sell signal, letting us know a lower high put in here and then break down from the price trend line with the sell signal and boom, off to the races of uh, hitting two targets, bounce back up. This could be a lower high price reversal candle drop back down Whew. so that's that's where it is uh everything's trending back down on the weekly chart which you know uh the final piece to the puzzle would be that uh, obviously don't wait for it but me personally since I'm, I'm trading on the daily chart but you know is we get that sell signal here you know we're probably looking at hitting target three four and then you know coming all the way back down and retesting two and week moving average so too early to call that quite yet, but it seems like there's 
uh, a lot of reasons why in these bigger market caps that's kind of been holding up uh, the NASDAQ, you know, all, all kind of line up with that, with the RSI sell signal, the MACD bearish crossover, you know, the bearish divergence before that, and so on and so on. So it, it's not just a one-off, it's they're all kind of lined up on it. The DXY is doing the opposite, the VIX is doing the opposite. And so that just means that all the probabilities are stacking up that it's going to be a, you know, a longer term correction after a really amazing rally. We hoped for a rally in the, when the markets were correcting back here, this entire time was correcting. If you weren't shorting, um, or calling out bullish diversions, watching the reversal. And we hoped for a rally like this. We didn't know for, for certain that there was going to be that long and high of a rally but we hoped for it. And now here we are back to the downside. So it's not down forever and it's not up forever or up only. So just keep that in mind. Hope everyone's doing well. If you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to uh, direct message me on uh, Twitter, you know, feel free to uh, uh, comment um, and then just let me know your thoughts and everything like that. So Thanks again, and I'll, I'll see you on the next one. I'll get this uploaded this afternoon. All right. Bye.